Hi, it's Lily. Minasan, konnichiwa. Today is the day that I'm going to get the car. Yay! I'm gonna go pick it up right now. Um, my friend is again kindly driving me to the far away store and we're gonna go pick it up and then I'm gonna drive home. On the way home I'm gonna talk a little bit about like what my plans are and what I'm gonna be doing. So Let's go! Oh! Oh! <laughs> ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがと
but there's like specific rhythms and specific um, ways of doing things that work best with the way that the land is already or the way nature is. The land kind of will tell me what it is that I should do there, sort of. I want to do it based on there, whether that is, you know, um, logging or, you know, a certain type of vegetable or whether it's good to have animals on that land. I'm, I want to be more flexible and open to, you know, nature and what it, it really wants. It's hard to explain, but I, I hope I'm kind of explaining it a little bit. I uh, made the wrong turn. Okay. Anyway, so based on the land, I really want to start kind of creating my future. So I'm looking forward to seeing what that looks like. I'm going to make a stop and pick something up at the store. So once I get back in the car, I'll continue sharing about some of the kind of rules I've made for myself on my trip that I'm gonna be taking or my finding myself or finding, you know, doing my dream. Um, I'll explain that once I get back, okay? Like, as I was saying, I don't really know where I'm gonna end up and I don't exactly know what I'm gonna be doing, but there's like a couple rules that I've kind of set for myself that will help guide me to make decisions. And up into this point, I've talked about being natural, not buying new things, not supporting countries and things that I don't believe in, and you know, treating people well, etc. But until now, I've said that, but I've not actually put it into action that much. So with this car and everything that I've bought once I've come back to Japan, I have a rule that I'm not going to buy anything new. Everything is going to be used. Um, and that's why I got this car. All these little, I haven't put them up yet, but these little like hooks that you put in to your car um, to hold your phone. Um, I got a portable kind of generator thing. Everything I'm doing, I'm making sure that I'm buying news. Of course I'm checking to make sure it's good things. You know, I want to make sure that I'm buying, you know, good quality things. I'm not going to waste my money. But like, there's so many things that people, you know, throw away and there's, you know, a lot of used things. There's like a Craigslist, it's called Medugari in Japan, where you can buy used things and like I use that all the time. Like one of my rules is never buying anything new. Even my phone. Um, I got this used, the phone case, I got it used. You know, the clothes that I'm going to buy, I will always buy used now. Not everything, like I don't know if I'm going to buy used socks. But I'll figure out some, you know, another option. Like I'm, I'm starting to put things into action. What I've talked about doing for a long time, and that's kind of like coming back to Japan and being on my own, making all these decisions on my own, and kind of starting a new life. That's kind of one of the rules that I've set for myself. Oh, there's a tunnel coming up. I don't even know how to turn on my lights yet. Especially now that I'm... Okay. Oh no, what is that? No! I put on the blinkers! Eh? No, 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 the no, wipers! Ah! Ah, there! Got it. Okay, here we go! <laughs> okay, so Yabayone. I should have I should have um, figured that out before I got in the car. It's okay. I figured it out. I just did a lot of wipers. Eh? Ah! No! My wiper's going on! How do I turn it off? Joe has a 
messy. It's like super, super, super sunny, and my white bird in the back is going off. But I have to just leave it. This is not It's too hard. To figure out where everything is, I have no idea about anything in this car. So anyway, for the next couple, you know, days slash up to two weeks, I'll be working on my car, focusing on that. Hopefully, I can make something livable, and then from there, move prefectures and camp while I go. It'll be interesting. I, I really don't know what to expect, but like every day I don't know what to expect and that's part of it being exciting. That's another, you know, reason it's a little scary, but I, I feel like this is something, it's good for me. I'm, I'm really learning about myself and I'm really learning about like what I really want to do. It's great. This is an opportunity for me that doesn't come to a lot of people. Most people when they're 30, they've already, well it's not everyone, but a lot of people kind of have their life set and you know, there's not a lot of freedom for them to move around randomly. But I have that freedom. Of course, do I wanna have a family? Do I wanna have a place already? Yes, I do. I was planning on that. But life decided not to be that way. And so, you know, I can cry about it and be sad that life isn't exactly as I planned it in my 20s, but rather than spending the time crying about it, as much as possible. I do spend the time crying about it sometimes, but I do, none that on that, I want to focus on things that I can do. And right now that finding a place and living like this is something I can do. So I'm excited. Woohoo! I think that's about it. What I have to say right now, that's kind of my update. I'm so excited I have a car, it's so great. I don't know what to do, like what's going on? I have a car now, like if you think about it, that's crazy. I'm so lucky that it was so affordable and like it had exactly what I wanted, it's four wheel drive. Never driven four wheel drive before. It's stick shift, exactly what I wanted. It's not too new, it's not too old. Like, chodoi. I'm just thankful. And, like I couldn't do any of this without like the friends people around who are helping me like I couldn't have gotten this car without my friend and her husband helping me and letting me stay with them and like taking me and checking out the car like I I'm so lucky and thankful that there's people that are kind enough to take time out of their day to help me like I really want to get a, get to a place where I can help them too you know I don't, I won't, I can't forget, I won't let myself forget the kindness of every single person who has been, you know, there for me. And every one of you, everyone who's watching is helping me do this. I wouldn't be able to just stop everything and chase my dreams if it wasn't for every single one of you. I'm serious. So, thank you. I, 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 I don't have words. And I'm sure many, many, many more people help me too. So, I'm so happy that I have my car now though, so I don't need people to drive me around as much. That's super helpful and I'm, I'm thankful. Perfect timing, we're at a red light. Yes, I'm sorry if the sound wasn't very good, but I just wanted to kind of touch, touch, <laughs> I wanted to touch base with all of you and let you know what's going on and how thankful I am for every single one of you and just how excited and, you know, crazy and wonderful everything is. And thank you so much for watching. I'm super excited to continue making these videos and continue sharing my journey with you. Please be careful of the super crazy hotness in Japan. If you're in Japan, and if you're not in Japan, but you're in a hot place, also please be careful if you're in a cold place. Enjoy it. <laughs> ありがとうございます。また次回の動画でお会いしましょう。
I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you so for. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. ここまで見てくださり本当にありがとうございます。See you next time. Goodbye. I can't wave. I'm doing stick shift. Goodbye. Thank you. じゃあね。